Next. Example number 2 naman is design ng T-beams. So, a floor system shown consists of 75 mm concrete slab, yun yung HF, supported by continuous T-beams with a clear span of 7.5. Okay, yung span natin, perpendicular to the screen, is 7.5. And then, sabi niya, 1.2 meters on centers, yung uh, transverse distance natin ng beams. So, web dimensions as determined by negative moment requirements at support are BW, ito, 275. And D, yung location ng tension steel is 500. Okay, what is this tension steel area required at mid-span to resist factored moment of 725 kN if F is 420 and F prime C is 21 megapascal? So, ang total moment na kikerry ng T-beam natin is 725. So, yung first step is wala tayong effective plan switch. So, kukunin muna natin. Diba? Meron tayong code requirement. Ito yon. Yung effective plan switch, T-beam ang hindi na-design natin. So, dito tayo. Titingin. Okay? So, yung first na uh, plan switch is ito. So, BW plus okay, twice yung clear transverse span. Since parehas naman yon, so, 2 clear span, ha? So, ito. Ito, naka-center to center kasi. So, i-subtract natin yung 275 kalahati. 275, and then kalahati ng 275 dito. So, magiging 275 lang din. So, 1,200 minus 275 over 2. So, yun. So, 1,200 yung isang BF. Check natin yung iba. Yung isang BF is BW plus dala, uh, 2 H, uh, 8 times HF. Ito yung result. And then, yung isa is L over 4, 7.5 over 4, which is 1875. So, sabi natin, kung ano yung pinakamaliit, yun yung magdagabar. So, ang BF natin is 1,200 mm. Okay, next step, meron na tayong flange width. Ito na yung magiging section natin ngayon. Okay, your next step should be Chicheck natin kung okay, ano ang i-chicheck natin. Locate natin yung kung saan yung depth of compression block. Ito yung moment. Paano natin malalaman based on the moment? Okay, so verify natin yung location of the depth of compression block by titignan natin yung moment capacity nitong flange. Okay. So, check natin yung moment capacity ng flange kung kaya niyang buhatin itong 725. Kaya, tatawagin ko siyang PMNF uh, PMN ng flange. So, ito yung uh, ultimate moment capacity ng flange. Considering na yung A natin is uh, 75 mm. So, at ano ba yung magiging capacity nito? Ano yung magiging capacity ng flange? So, ibig sabihin, i-consider natin, we will treat that the flange is under pure compression. So, yun yung AC natin, yung compressive force on the flange, CF, will be 0.85 F prime C multiplied by yung area ng flange. So, yung CF natin is 0.85 F prime C times area ng flange. Ano ba yung area ng flange? So, 1,200 times 75. Ano yung magiging P natin? Since design naman to, we want na mag-yield yung bakal and at the same time, mag-fail siya in tension. So, set natin yung reduction factor to 0.9. Okay? So, yun. So, 0 0.9 times 0.85 times 21 times 1,200 times 75. And then, yung moment arm is 500 minus, since etong kinonsider natin as AC, ang moment arm is 75. Kung baga, ito yun. Oops. Dito ko na lang i-drawing part. Okay? So, kumbaga nandito siya. Ito yung magiging compressive force natin. Ito yung sa HF. At yung A natin is actually equal to 75. So, nandito ngayon yung C ng flange. Dito tayo magmoment sa AS. Uh, uh, dito. So, ito is actually from the top of the slab is 500. So, kung 500 dyan, yung moment arm nito is 500 minus A over 2 
ang A natin is 75. So, 75 ohm. Doon nakuha yon. Okay. Animation. Lang. Okay. Balik tayo dito. Saan ba tayo nag-end kanina? Okay. Okay, dyan. Okay, so in explain ko lang. So ayan 75 over 2. So yung moment, uh, moment capacity ng flange is 668.71 pero ang kailangan nating i-resist na moment is 725. So kung yung flange lang ang magbubuhat, hindi niya kaya. So ngayon tutulong ngayon yung web. Uh, dito tutulong ngayon yung web kaya nandito yung A natin. So ayan, kaya T beam pa rin siya. So sino magbubuhat ngayon ng excess? So bubuhatin itong web ngayon. Kaya lang, hindi yan yung gagamitin natin. So, pwede rin na ito consider na lang natin. So, since, so, therefore, ang A natin is greater than 75. So, paano natin makukuha? So, let's say ito ang gamitin natin. Yung MN1, that is the moment, okay? Yung moment na capacity na to. So, hatiin natin tong part na to, itong Ano yung magiging moment niyan? So, pag nag-moment tayo di dyan, ito yung compressive force. Yan yung mag-act yung compressive force. Yung compressive force dito na section, itong overhang, mag-moment tayo dito sa may AS. So, yun yung MN1. And then, para dito naman, dito na part, ito mag-moment tayo, say C2, ito C1. Okay. C1 din to. Since parehas yan, magiging 2C1 na lang. And then C2. Pag moment ulit ako dito ulit. Dito naman. So, yun. So, ang gagawin natin, so, determine the true value of the depth of compression block, magiging, for the overhang flange, ito yung moment capacity niya. Okay? So, gagawin natin siyang C1. Yung C1 na yan, is ito na mismo. Ito yung C1. Ayan. Ito yung C1. 2C1 na yan. Pero pag pinag-combine mo yan, magiging 2C1, ito yung magiging result niya. Okay? Ito yung compressive force. And then ito yung moment arm. So, yan. Masasolve natin yung MN1. Okay? So, direct substitution na naman to. So, 12,000, uh, 1,200 minus 275. And so, yung MN1 is 515.46. Bakit magkaiba kanina? sa naging result. Kasi ang kinonsider natin is yung buong flange. Eh dito is overhang flange to. Magkaiba kasi yun. Okay, for MN2, for the web naman, tatawagin ko siyang MN2. Okay, for MN2, uh, ang fee natin pa rin is uh, 0.9. So, 0.85 F'C yung area ng flange uh, web naman. So, it will be A multiplied by BW. And then, yung moment arm is D minus A over 2. So, yun. Ang unknown dyan, Okay, yung MN2, since, uh, di ba, ang total moment kanina, nabubuhat din ni 725. So, eto na yung kinarga niya, nung overhang plans. So, ang kakargahin na lang nito is yung excess ng 725 minus 515.46. So, 209.2. So, yan, masasolve na ngayon natin yung A. Okay, so... So, yung A ngayon will be 106.12 mm. 106.12 mm. Follows, so, ito na yung A. So, determine the required tension steel area. So, di ba nasol mo natin na ito yung A? Nandito ngayon. Ito na ngayon yung buong. Okay, itong shade ko lang to. Ito na yung AC natin na tinatawag. Okay, yung area of concrete. So, paano natin masasolve yun? So, yung AC, so, yung C natin, 0.85 F'C times AC is equal to ASFY. Yung AC is, eto yung formula natin. Okay? Yung BF minus BW, yun yung overhanging flange times HF and then A times BW. So, yun, direct, direct substitution na lang naman na to. So, 98.98558. Now, yung AS ngayon, masasolve na natin. Ito yung AC. So, masasolve na ngayon natin yung AS. Rearrange na lang natin. So, 0.85 F'C, 21, 98.558 over 4. Uh, yun. So, makukuha na natin yung AS. For 
188.72. So, yan na ngayon yung total uh, required tension steel area to uh, uh, balance yung 725 kN. Okay, balik, uh, balik lang ako dito. Okay. Okay, di ba ito yung flange kanina? Nako muna kanina, ito yung uh, flange moment capacity. So, kumbaga nandito ka mag-moment yung AS. Di ba na-solve na natin yung... Uh... Okay, let's... Let's say, gawin ko siyang CF. Kung CF to, nag-moment ka dito, ito yung moment capacity niya. Ito. So, ibig sabihin, yung dito na part, pwede mo nang i-consider to. Pwede mo rin gamitin to. Yung excess niyan, so, tatawagin ko siyang Z. Yan, Z. So, yung excess is ito na magbubuhat ngayon na part. So, kung siya magbubuhat naman, so, magiging uh, 725 minus 668.71 So, magiging, wait lang. So, ang uh, bubuhatin na lang nito, no part na yun, itong maliit. Okay, let's say ito yung maliit. Lipat ko lang dito. Ito is 250, ito yung Z. So, yung moment na bubuhatin niya ngayon is 725 minus 668.71. 56.29. fifty six point twenty nine kilonewton meter so pag etong ginamit mo tong part na to pares lang din makukuha mo kaya lang ito magiging z sya okay di ba? eto yung z na yan dito yung centroid nya okay yung z na yan eto yung moment arm mo ayon so from dito so kung z yan eto is z over two so eto will be this distance will be 500 500 minus 75 So it will be 425 Okay, minus Z over 2 naman yung moment arm yan. So pares lang yung makukuha Check natin So 56.29 Multiplied by 10 raised to 6 Is equal to 0.9 F prime C uh, 0.85 F prime C which is 21 Okay, 21 And then Uh, yung AC is uh, 275 multiplied by Z and then yung moment arm is 425 minus Z over 2. So, masasolve mo yung Z dyan. So, pag nasolve mo yung Z, masasolve mo na yung A. So, 56.29 times 10 raised to 6 is equal to 0.9 times 0.85 prime C times 275 Z uh, 425 minus Z over 2 So, masasolve mo ngayon yung Z dyan so, Lang, lang bagal mag-solve Oh, wait lang, may mali ata sa na yung po ko Oh, 56.29 times 10 raised to 6 0.9 times 0.85 times 21 times 275 Z 425 minus okay. 31.12 ang makukuha mong Z okay, 31.12 mm kaya lang Para masolve mo yung A, ang A mo ngayon, it will be 75. Okay, 75 plus 31.12. So, ano yung magiging sagot? Ano yung A mo? So, plus 75 plus 31.12. So, 106.12. Parehas lang dun sa kabila kanina. Parehas lang. So, 106.12. 12 mm. Yun. So, parehas lang din. Parehas lang siya dito. Na makukuha. 106.12.
So, yun. So, pwede rin doon. And then, pag nasolve mo na yan, makukuha mo na yung AC. Okay? Pag nasolve mo na itong A dito, masolve mo na rin yung AC. Ha? Yung AC mo ngayon dito is 75 multiplied by 1,200 okay, plus 275 times Z. Eh, yung Z nasolve mo na. So, meron ka ng AC. I think mas, madali, mas, ma mas mabilis to. Itong part na to. Kesa sa dito na solution. Para sa akin, ha? Pero, yun. So, pag meron ka ng AC, mas solve mo na ngayon yung AS. Okay? So, yun. Bahala kayo. So, maraming pwedeng solution sa T-beams. Mas maganda gamitin yung geometry kesa i-memorize yung mga formula. Ang importante lang is alam mo yung concept ng stress and force. Basta, ang stress sa concrete is 0.85 F prime C. Para maging force, mag-multiply ka lang ng area. E ano ba yung area na yan? Area ng concrete under compression. Okay, so yo. So, prepare for your exam. And, PM nyo lang ako kung may tanong kayo.